RVers are accomplished people. Most RVers are professionals, uh, very interesting people. You make friendships for life. You're with people who are doing exactly what you are doing, having a great time on the road. You get tips from them. Uh, it, it's just absolutely wonderful. You just keep, I suspect even after we are off the road, uh, we'll still have these friends. We have a large percentage of first time purchasers, uh, new to the industry, and um, you know, just have the desire to get out and, and, and explore and, and uh, enjoy. Every day is different and they're not boring. I mean, it's from A to Z. There's never no telling what the typical day is. What's for dinner? Oh, that's important. Back in 2008, my wife Heidi and I made our first long distance trip in an RV motorhome. I came over to the States in 2007 and uh, of course wanted to see all these beautiful places here. We had a, a, a motorhome and we planned our first big trip. It took us two weeks to plan a trip out to Albuquerque, the Grand Canyon, up through the Rockies. Up to Pittsburgh and back to Florida. Uh, it was such a big trip, we had to plan everything uh, out in, beforehand and with all these big directories you, you have with campgrounds and, and the atlas and the maps. And it was a 7,200 mile trip. So we had all these campgrounds and reservations and then we took off and all of a sudden we we're finding really nice campgrounds that we didn't know anything about. And I complained. I said, somebody's got to do something about this. For three years, I complained. He was saying, I don't understand. There must be something on the market that really facilitates people to do this. And, and he was going on and on. And finally, Heidi says, look, why don't you do it yourself? You've been in the computer business for over 40 years. You're a programmer. You're an analyst. Do it yourself. Hmm, okay. RV Trip Wizard is a trip planning tool, a software tool that is online, uh, designed for RV owners or people who are renting RVs uh, that shows them some 17,000 campgrounds around the country. And uh, it runs on any device, uh, any computer, any tablet, any smartphone. It's very easy to use. Uh, once you take a quick look at the user's guide, uh, it's all laid out. It gives them the options of knowing where they can stay, what it's going to be, how far it is from point A to point B. When you set the, the preferences up and you plan your first trip, it's going to calculate what that trip should cost you based on what your preferences are. Uh, we've got a, a page that will show you local area fuel prices. We have 16,000 golf courses. They just say we love your program because we can find all the, the golf uh, uh, courts we are looking for. We have 8,000 pet hospitals. Uh, really, I insisted to insert because we, we travel with two cats and, and uh, and one got really ill, so we had to find a pet hospital. 12,000 bicycle trails. So there's a lot of different information in there. Uh, Walmarts that you can and cannot park at overnight. Uh, and all RVers love Walmart because they can park there and they know what they're going to find when they need to replenish. Nice compliments as well. It became more or less like a, like a family of RVers. Everybody is giving in their 50 cents worth of 
uh, suggestions. You know, we look at something and it says, oh, it's um, 2,000 miles to Phoenix. Well, you know, there's about four different ways to get to Phoenix. And you may like the 2,000 mile trip or you really may like the 2,200 mile trip because it goes through so many other areas. The way it's evolving, I think it's almost mandatory. change, you know, campgrounds come, campgrounds go. And Rich is here to uh, to keep us updated on, on the ones that 